Mm -hmm. All right, so we are going to demonstrate the CLQT yeah, test. I'm Maria, and I will be the clinician. And I'm Monica, and I will be the client. So this test has 10 tasks. We are going to do three of the tasks. And the first one will be the symbol cancellation. This is what it looks like. And we'll begin. So look at this symbol. This symbol appears several times on this page. Point to one. Okay, so I'm going to cross out this symbol. Now I want you to cross out every example of this symbol on this page. Do you have any questions? Nope. You have two minutes. Start now. So as she's crossing them out, I'm allowed to encourage her to keep on going and they have specific prompts I'm allowed to say and they also allow me to repeat the directions once. Um, so as she finishes, scoring is really nice because they provide this transparency and you put it on top and all the circles are where she was supposed to X out. So that will be task number one. Task number two is the clock drawing. And once again, they tell you about prompts you can say and the repeating directions. And they give you hints about how to interpret the clock. So, Monica, I want you to draw a clock on this page. First, put all the numbers inside the circle, then set the hands to 10 minutes after 11. Be careful, be neat, start now. And then this is what this page looks like. So it gives you kind of that outline of a clock and then it's got the directions right up here. And when she's done, they give you 11 different questions asking you about details about her drawing to help you score. Is that all? If she stops, or are you finished? And things like that. Shows she's done. And then something like this. Okay. And our final task will be symbol trails. This is something different. Um, so, here we go. I say, look at these circles. They are different sizes. I will connect them by drawing lines between them. I will start with the smallest circle and draw a line to the next biggest circle. Now I will draw a line to the biggest circle. So that's what I want you to do on this page, which is the smallest circle. Okay. All right, now draw a line from that circle to the next biggest circle and then keep going. Like this. I don't know if you can see my trails, but I promise I did it right. <laughs> and then we do trial two. There's a trial two of this task, and it's similar with two shapes. Um, so now look at these circles and triangles. I will connect them by drawing lines between them. I will start with this circle and draw a line to this triangle. Now I will draw a line from the triangle to the other circle. Now I will draw a line to the last triangle. So that's what I want you to do on this page. Start with this circle. Draw a line from this circle to a triangle and then keep going circle to triangle to circle and so on. And we'll skip ahead to the most advanced one which would be this one. So the same thing applies, you go from circle to triangle, circle to triangle, and then just as the first part, we have the transparency that goes right over it, and then you can check to see how they did. Yeah, so then it'll lay over just like that. So there is a sneak peek into the CLQT test. Thanks! <laughs>